It's no surprise that at Game Dev Pantry, we love Unreal Engine. It's an incredible and versatile tool that allows for all sorts of projects to take place. The engine has an incredibly robust architecture that makes it very easy to carry knowledge from one aspect of Unreal into another. Over the years, it has become more and more easy for AAAs and Indies alike to develop games, and engines like Unreal are there to push the boundaries. Given the sheer complexity of such a piece of software, even with the best working on it, it is still possible that it crashes here and there. Hell, sometimes it's a deliberate choice to make the engine crash. Today, in a somewhat strange celebration of my favorite game engine, I want to highlight five ways that you can make Unreal Engine 4 crash. I'll showcase the step-by-step -step to reproduce these crashes and give an explanation to the best of my knowledge as to why they occur. Number 5. Null Pointers In Blueprint, if you have an object variable that isn't valid and then attempt to call a function on that variable, you'll get an error message. However, if you try to do the same thing using C++, it's gonna crash the engine. And the reason that happens is because the program is attempting to read an address in memory that it isn't allowed to, usually the address 00000, 000, 000, 000, 000 something. And a lot of crashes in Unreal might happen because of this error. Most of the time you see an access denying trying to read an address in your crash report, you can safely assume that it was a reference that wasn't valid. Of course, in Blueprint you get an error and the code continues to execute to the best of its ability. But processing that error takes a lot of performance and a simple is valid check or a change in the code to avoid those messages goes a long way. Number 4. Source Control Unreal has an amazing source control integration with a lot of tools available. And one of such tools is the ability from within the engine to sync a single asset with the latest version. This tool was however designed for assets with a small dependency chart to them. So naturally, if I try to do that with the main map of a big project, it's gonna crash. Honestly, I'm not sure what causes this error. My guess is just the sheer size induces errors in the update loop of the source control. But the error message leaves me confused, as it seems to suggest that the program is trying to load objects that aren't even tied to the project, which is what not having an outer means in Unreal Engine. If you want to retrieve a big update from source control, it's better to close the engine and update it using your source control interface, or a command prompt instead. Number 3. Stack Overflow a stack overflow occurs when too much of the memory stack is needed for an operation. The easiest way to trigger that kind of crash is either with an infinite loop or using recursion. In this example, I'm using a recursive function that populates the memory stack with a bunch of integers. Since each function call will call another copy of itself before returning, it creates an infinite loop which piles on the memory stack. You'll notice that I place a boolean condition to make it call itself. That is because otherwise, the compiler would notice that this function would always make the engine crash, and thus won't let it exist. So let's see it in action. This one is more about showcasing one of the dangers of infinite loops and recursion. What I'm not showing in this footage is how this error froze my computer for a while. When not caught, these types of error are very debilitating for the computer. Number 2. Assertion Macros this one is more of a universal method than a specific one, but I think it's interesting to talk about. Usually when a program crashes, it is because it's attempting to do something that is dangerous and therefore forbidden by the operating system, such as reading a null address or overflowing the stack. However, sometimes the program also crashes to prevent certain things from happening. For this, Unreal uses a custom macro called check. The check macro's purpose is to verify a true-false statement, and if that expression is false, it crashes the program. This is useful to prevent harmful errors that wouldn't normally crash a program, but would corrupt files or create memory leaks, for example. There are many flavors of the check macro in Unreal, and the one I'm using allows me to print a custom crash message along with the crash. Let's see it in action. 
This feature is also useful for plugin developers if they know that a certain behavior is dangerous to crash the engine instead. It could also be used by games with meta gameplay or meta narrative to purposefully crash the game at a certain point. Number 1. Structs In 4.26, structs have become relatively stable. So much so that I couldn't find a reliable way to make them crash the engine without really going overboard. But over the years, user structs have earned the reputation of being somewhat unstable and very crash prone. The main culprit is their flexibility. Even at the user level, Unreal is extremely permissive with what you can do with structs. You can nest them, you can change them while they're being used in blueprints, use them for hash containers, and even more. Because of that, there is a plethora of methods to crash or break the engine using structs. I'll share a few of the ones that I enjoyed over the years. The first one I encountered was when using a combination of the most dangerous things in Unreal. Structs, maps, and the force delete option. This doesn't crash your engine, but it does corrupt blueprints, which is probably even worse. You simply need to create a map variable with the struct as a key, save the blueprint, and then force delete the struct. If you're lucky, the next time you open your blueprint, you'll receive a prompt asking you if you want to remove this variable. Press yes. If you're not, you'll notice that the variable doesn't exist anymore, but you also can't compile the blueprint ever. Fun times. But my favorite has to be that in 4.25, it was possible to create a struct that contained, let's say, an array of int, and then use that struct as the key for map variables. Let me explain why this is a bad thing. Keys of map variables, as well as elements in set variables, require a very specific property. They need to be hashable. In this case, Hashing refers to the transformation of your variable data into a specific address that is used to find your variable efficiently. This is also why finding, adding, and removing things in maps and set is a lot faster than arrays. It uses the hash to find the element instead of checking each element in the list until it finds the right one. Because hashing uses an algorithm and it is of a fixed size, not every variable type can be hashed. And as you might have guessed, arrays created in structs technically can't be hashed. But in 4.25, Blueprint lets you use those for map variables. So what happens when you try to add a value to your map variable? Yeah, it crashes. Sometimes it's also possible to create a circular dependency on structs. This is very rare as most of the time Unreal will not allow you to do so at all. But if it happens, that is also an instant crash. This is because it effectively creates an infinite loop of dependency since both structs contain the information of the other struct. So there you have it. Five ways to crash Unreal. I decided to focus on sure ways to crash the engine, but couldn't resist talking about structs. Thank you so much for listening to this somewhat unconventional episode of the Game Dev Pantry. I hope you either learned something or were at least a little entertained. I think we've all experienced crashes here and there, it's a natural part of game development. We work with software that are so complicated and rely so much on performance, it has to break at a certain moment. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Numbers going up make my brain happy. I'd like to extend a very warm thanks to our patrons for supporting us. Have a good one.